from lane two. Grenada, Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, Jamaica, Bahamas, and Haiti. And team also with Samoya Campbell and Olivia James. Terrific team that won it on home soil, set the record. And we see San Sanya Frederick once again. And Soli scheduled to run. I think Kishana Niles is on this Barbados 4x4 team as well. It's uh, turning out to be a little bit of late drama. Ricardo. No, Leila Haynes, of course, ill out of the 800 final. The Jamaicans star studded as usual. Let's see if the Guyanese are out there. Campbell, part of the quartet that won it last year. The bleachers packed tonight. Great way to show out for the final night. The Bohemians. Koi Avali will go for the Bahamas. Along with Shania Adderley. Seven teams will line up for the girls of 4x4 four four, under 20. Kamisha Dominique will lead off for the home team. Two, Guyana, three. Trinidad and Tobago, four. Barbados, five. Jamaica in six. Bahamas, seven. Haiti is in lane eight. The Guerrier girls. Set. No Guyana in lane number three, no surprise. Final girls event of Carifta 2024, the 4x400 for the under-20s. The Jamaicans being led off by Shanky Williams, medalist in the flat 400 meters. She goes on to Bahamas. Barbados also running well on this first leg. Jamaica, Barbados. That's the top two at the moment. Shank Williams running a storming first 300 meters like she usually does. She's not afraid to take on the pace, this young lady. And she's storming down the home stretch. Barbados looks as if they're in second position. Here they come to the first change. Jamaica, the handoff to the 400 silver medalist, Abigail Campbell. Barbados holding second position. Trinidad and Tobago back in third. They have a lot of ground to make up. Abigail Campbell leads for Jamaica. The advantage is pretty comfortable here. Frederick in third now for Trinidad and Tobago. 200 meters to run in this second leg. Still Abigail Campbell for Jamaica. The lead is massive. She's a 52 27, 400 runner. Passed in the closing stages of the under 2400 final by Tiana Springer of Guyana. But here she is, well clear in the 4x4, will not be passed. A titanic battle for silver between Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados as the Jamaicans go away.
this is looking relatively easy here for the black, green and gold. The record is 331.47. I don't suspect that's on the threat. Trinidad and Tobago in second. Barbados in third. But some distance behind those two and the in the hunt for silver. Gap opening up. All the time, Trinidad and Tobago now clear of Barbados. The Bahamas trying to rally. They are in fourth. Grenada in fifth. Here's the final change. It's all Jamaica. Shanoya Douglas, she anchored them to 4 by one glory last night. She won the 200 meters earlier today. And now she has the glory leg to take the Jamaicans home at 4 by 4 What a correct game she's had. As she rightly pointed out earlier today, she did not achieve great things in the Bahamas last year. But she went back, she trained hard, and here she is. Kishana Niles is running the anchor leg for Barbados. They are in second. Trinidad and Tobago in third. We saw one sprinter anchor Barbados brilliantly at under 17. That was Anaya Nurse. It was a brilliant anchor leg to get them bronze. Shanoya Douglas down the home stretch for Jamaica. She won't get the record, but it will be a really quick time for the Jamaicans. Douglas. Anchored at 4x1, won the 200, and now she comes across the line at 4x4. Big battle on for Silva. Who will get it? Will it be Barbados or will it be Trinidad and Tobago? It's TNT. And on anchor for Trinidad and Tobago, Janae DeGans. She won that tremendous gold medal earlier today. And now anchoring her team to Silva. Very interesting to see field events athletes competing for Trinidad and Tobago in the relays. They had a high jumper in the previous 4x4, now a long jumper. But it's all Jamaica, three out of four, heading for the sweep. Barbados, another medal here, bronze, something to build on for them. They'll be delighted to have two relay medals on the girls' side. Opted against going uh, forward with their bid to host Carifta 2027, or 2026 that should be. They've now expressed an interest in 2028. Jamaica. Striding through your 400 meter champion. Let's head to Gerard Morrissey as we watch Anoya Michaelia Douglas anchor the Jamaicans to victory at 4x4. Final event on the girls' side, Carifta 2024. Yeah, I have the girls who won the under 24 by 400 meter relay right now. Shanoya, let me talk to you since you were on the anchor leg. It was a brilliant game for you. How does this cap off? What a wonderful event it was for you. It was a, oh God, it was a very wonderful event. I love this. I did this for my teammates, my country. And this whole character experience was a very great experience here. Right, and I'm grateful we for Father God. And my teammates that they are putting the work to get where giving them out in first place to so finish off strong for my team, for my for my country. It was wonderful. Yeah, I don't have to ask you much anything after that. Congratulations to you ladies and let's head back upstairs. The final race is almost on the track. Well, fantastic performance for God and Country. 334.69 Jamaica. Trinidad and Tobago second, 347.51. Barbados at 348.21 to take another relay medal. This time bronze in the 4x4 under 20 girls. Our attention now turns to the final 